Hi, Carol here. A warm welcome to my craft room. And I am doing an introduction to a company called DecoFun. They produce this wonderful bow maker. They're from England. They have kits that provide you with high quality English ribbons and laces. And I've mentioned some of them here on the lower part of the video. I'm cutting out some tulle here to show you some of the wonderful ways you can use this bow maker. It's not only affordable, but it is fun to use, thus the name DecoFun. Yes, I can't wait to show you all the projects. This is one of many videos that I'm going to put out to represent DecoFun Bow Maker. And I guess I'm the ambassador from Canada to show you this. And all my American friends can order and all my friends from around the world as well. I could not wait to get this kit and I'm going to put up the codes where you can get $3 off or $5 off the already sale price to these kits. And you say, Carol, what do they include? Look at this. This simplistic bow maker is amazing. I'm telling you, it looks simple, but it can do so much. It's just crazy. Yes, so I am going to uh, show you the codes to use up until September 30th to get these prices already off the sale prices. Look at these English laces. Absolutely stunning. And yes, you can mix up your laces when you order. You just have to tell Debbie what... Uh, there's different kits and you'll see that at the end. Look at this raspberry. Um, the Nature Zone ribbons right here, they don't fray. So that is a bonus in itself. And you get 10 yards on the spool. Is this not amazing? Just look at the color. Oh, it's just like this rich salmon. It's absolutely beautiful. And I made this bow in minutes. Now you're asking me how this bow maker is different from all the rest. Well, it is. Trust me on that. It's not only affordable, it is so easy and it is so simple to make all these bows and flowers and different things on it. And you get this whole kit for the sale price of $14.99 US. Now, as their ambassador, yes, I'm their ambassador from Canada because I am Canadian, you still can order with Canadian prices. They will go up. Debbie's going to have all that up there and their Canadian shipping charges, which are affordable, very affordable, and they found a way to be able to ship them without having the weight. And I'm showing you, look at the satin quarter inch ribbon, just beautiful. I use so many of these ribbons already in projects. I'm going to be putting up uh, different projects because it, each project takes a little while and I didn't want to cram it into one video. So I'm going to spread it out because I want you to see these beautiful English ribbons in action. I want you to be able to see how easy this bow maker is. And can you imagine getting a whole kit with laces, English laces, English ribbons, and a bow maker for $14.99 US is amazing. And then you can get added quantities for $24.99 with free shipping to the US and outside of the US and Canada as well. Debbie is working on so many things and so many products are going to be up in the store that when I leave you the link, I would just encourage you to go over and check it out. You're going to want to get this bow maker, really. It is just wonderful. I have, ha I have other bow makers, and this one is tops. It is easy peasy, and you can do so many things with it in such little time. Look at this cream lace. Yes, I'm jumping in. It's their satin laces. And you're going to get English laces and English ribbons with the kit. And you can order the ribbons separately. You don't, you know, once you get the uh, bow maker and a kit, you can just go and order your ribbons 10 yards to a spool. 
and they have super sales. Look at this yellow polka dot. Isn't that cute? I did that little bow with the bow maker, yes. And this part here, I'm just showing you, this is the double-sided. Um, it's called Sea Mist Sage. It's different colors on each side. They, and can you imagine they don't fray? So you're not, I mean, you can fray it if uh, you want to work hard at it to get a vintage look. But uh, I'm telling you, I was so excited to find this video. And I contacted Debbie and I asked if I could show my friends on my channel, on my blog, this wonderful bow maker and these wonderful ribbons. I'm not making any money or profit out of this whatsoever. Uh, they sent me this kit to show you and uh, they are just gracious people and I am honored to represent them. If you have any questions about any of their products, there is a contact uh, email address that you can reach Debbie and she will get back to you uh, right away. And uh, when I saw this video on YouTube and I contacted her to see if I could get one of these to show my friends on my YouTube channel and blog, they had it sent out immediately. I am so excited to show you what this bow maker can do and how easy it is to do these projects. You don't have to learn anything new. Uh, all of the patterns that you make your bow, just they face you, they're all in one direction, they're not twisted. You don't have to twist your ribbon in different directions to make your bows. Look at this gorgeous gold ribbon, I love it. And if you glue it down on top of the silk ribbon or the taffeta, beautiful even on top of the laces it looks nice so anyway let's get started on our church pew marker well the first thing you have to do is move your pegs over to the size you want your bows <clears throat> and to me this seemed far enough I think it's about four inches now you want to place your ribbon on the inside of those two loops and the only thing you're doing as you can see here is going behind stay inside the round section there you want to make sure you're inside the circle then you come to the front you're going to leave enough of your ribbon on the sides that you want to have hanging and here i'm at the front you can see i'm only going to the back and my ribbon is always facing the front whatever pattern it is then i'll take that to the back now if this did not, like if I didn't have enough on one side, I could just pull it because of the plastic. It will just nicely pull across and you're not stuck taking it all off. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the wonderful thing here is I want to have some bling hanging. I want to have these pearls hanging. I want one in the front and one in the back. So I slide them in between those half circles and the front and the back then I'm going to cut off some of that quarter inch satin ribbon any small ribbon actually you could use a large uh, ribbon I wanted to use the small because what's nice about this is you can build as many bows as you want so I'm taking this quarter inch ribbon I'm going in between the round circle here one in the front one in the back bringing it to the front then I'm going to slide it because I need some more, isn't that awesome, to the back and then cut it off. That's exactly how much I want. Now see that little ledge? You slide your ribbon underneath. I set mine down because it gives me more um, flexibility to tie this knot and I'm really giving it some um, muscle here. And then I tie it in a knot and then you can just slide it up or take those rings off, whatever you want to do and you start creating your uh, pew markers. Now, this is so nice because you just set that aside and then we're gonna use the tool, but for now I slide this quarter inch ribbon down to the center and I poof out my wired ribbon here that I'm going to use in the front of the tool and that's as easy as it is. Isn't that amazing? And you can make as many loops as you want. And as long as you go between those circles there, those half moons in between your two pegs, 
you are in and you can make uh, in the next video I'll show you how you make multicolored uh, ribbon flowers multicolor bows there's so much you can do with this and I will show you on uh, the following tutorials now this is going to sit on top of the tool the tool measures out 27 inches long on the bolt and 11 inches wide and I think I flipped it four or five times to get the thickness that I needed so it would be 44 inches if I flipped it four times etc yes so here I'm fixing it up trimming down the bling isn't that pretty I mean that on a gift alone is nice so here's my tool so I set one and you have to make sure one in the front go to the back another one to the back bring it on in the front keep it in between those uh, pegs push it down if you have to and then go to the front just like that okay there we go so straighten it up so I have it even on each side I'll cut that tool off on the right hand side in a second then you're going to slide I oh first of all yes this is going to be the tie on the pew so I'm going to need it quite long this ribbon so this will be on the back and this is where I am going to put a clasp to put on the back of the pew so uh, the clasp measurement when you do this I'm using the double quarter inch double satin ribbon again see that little slider in the middle that you can slide it underneath then I will set it down so that I'm not having to fight with it there we go tie it in a nice knot now this tool you can get a good tie on that yes nice and hard and then I, um, I think I did it three times look at that then you can slide it out or you can take the uh, two poles off I think that's what I do here no I slide it right off now if you went behind that half moon circle it wouldn't slide up right you'd be stuck so you always want to be in the center of that of those two loops cut the tool down the center and that's going to give you your poof then cut this down the center just run your fingers through it and cut it and we're on our way to a church pew setting yes and then you're going to have this tie to go on the around the pew and I am going to add another knot because I thought it could use it it could be tighter so now that it's off of the ring I tried to tie it again to see if I could get it tighter and I did and then look at those poofs isn't that gorgeous so I'll grab these two and cut them off even and then I'll grab that right one because I can see there's a little bit of tool then here we have these hangers going down and actually let me just see I'm not sure if this is the center or these are the ones that I hang I think these this is the center that I hang to the front I cut them off as even as I can on the bottom and this is how you make these markers for a wedding and then I just hold it and cut it off isn't that sweet and then I'm going to add the other bow and we did this in literally 10 seconds it did not take long at all situate it there grab your the bow we made just a little bit ago I'm gonna hot glue this uh, but I'm also gonna tie it with the quarter inch um, ribbon just to be sure I'm holding it there because of the tool I just want to be sure that it stays so I am going to grab it again the white tool and tie it so there we go grab it underneath there move the um, pearls to the side there the raindrop pearls the hanging ones give it a good knot and we are on our way to almost having it finished isn't it sweet now we're going to cut this off on the back and I'm going to start to apply some roses and these are beautiful um, I'm trying to think I think we are roses is where I ordered them but they're beautiful paper roses I just love them they're in my stash for special occasions <laughs> such as this yes isn't that pretty I mean it just keeps getting better with this um, 
bow maker. It's just fabulous. So here they are here. Aren't they pretty? And uh, they're kind of like a carnation rose. A rosination. I don't know. They're kind of in between. And um, I'm going to put one right in the center there. And I twist the end so it has that nice spiral on it. Then I'm going to go down this... Uh, See, just grab a pencil, twist it, pull the, no, I end up putting that at the top because this was a, a bigger uh, rose. So I grab, I, I always have three um, hot glue guns on the go. I have one that's run by batteries that I, I can just grab at any minute. And then I have one that is the blue one there that's a detailed glue gun. And then my other one over there. You know, you, you always want to have them hot, and uh, these are tinier rose buds, and I'm going to run these all the way down that ribbon on each side. So I could have actually sped this up for you, but uh, I wanted to show you in case you wanted to make one of these. This is how easy it is, and I'm just going with the pattern so that they match on each side, and that deco fun. I'm telling you, if I had to make, say, 10 of these, if I wanted to run five on each side of the church for a wedding, think how quick it would be. You could just stand there and keep them going. And, and that's how fast this uh, Deco Fun Bow Maker is. I love it. I can't be without it now. So now we have all of the roses running down, and I want to add, I'm just poofing it up there, I want to add some spray beads, those sprays. So I get those out of my stash and I put them right there. I have a bag full of them. This was a wonderful thrift store find. And I am going to take three at a time, roll them out, cut them off at the bottom and tuck them in the side of the top bow. Just like that, easy peasy. And I'm gonna have these sprays coming out all the way around. So you're just going to pull it out and I need to add a little bit more glue and tuck it in and I run this all the way on each side till I get to the bottom. Now we have all the sprays on. Isn't that pretty? And then you're going to turn it over because we need the ribbon strap to go around the pew. So you're going to situate your tool and you're going to cut your ribbon to the length. So before you go to, you know, if this was an order that I was doing for these, I would have them measure around the pew because each pew is different in each church. And then you would add this accordingly. So I am setting it there and then I am going to grab one of my glue gun tools here that is for the silicone tool and I'm going to push it in as far as I can there in the tie so it's nice and secure. Oh, I took it off. It wasn't even. Oh, I had to turn it around. Yes. You have to remember that this is going to go around so you need to do it inside out, right? So that the good side is on the underneath there and the wrong side is looking at you. That way when you wrap it around the pew you'll have the good side showing. And then I'm going to take this diamond bling and I'm going to set it in there just to make it look nice. You won't see that once you run it. But uh, So, so far I wrapped it around one of my uh, craft room chairs. And this is how it looks so far. And then I'm going to add some bling. But first I wanted to show you the glue guns that I use. I use this one. You have the hot setting or the cold. I always use the hot. And then I test out them. Remember I said I use three of them when I'm doing a big project? I test them out because sometimes if you have it sitting there on a former project, it will have burnt glue inside the nozzle. And I want to make sure every nozzle is pouring out white glue. It's something to remember because sometimes you grab it, then you go to squeeze it and it's brown from sitting in there. It's gotten burnt. So I test out all my glue guns when I'm doing a large project to make sure any, even if I had one, to make sure that the uh, glue that's inside there is white. It's not running yellow because it was sitting for a while. Okay, so now I'm going to finish the decorating of this piece. And as you can tell, it's later on at night and <laughs> the lighting isn't as bright, but uh, 
I thought after dinner, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this. So you need six pieces, two f and, and a little snap. I love getting these snaps. If you're at the thrift stores, you can find these all the time in the sewing section. All these vintage snaps, love them because you can you don't have to sew them on. You glue gun them on. Oh, yes. So I set them aside. And then I have the six pieces of uh, tulle and... Um, I'm sorry, not to applique. And then I have a huge honk and roll of this diamondy bling, so I cut four of them off right here. And uh, no, how many do I cut off? Four and wow, yeah, it looks like I'm cutting off nine, but you need an even number, I think. But anyway, I started cutting, and you're going to set those aside. Love these. I think I got this roll in the wedding section at Michael's if you're looking for it. And uh, then just pick out some applique, applique and we're on our way to finish this um, project. I think it's so pretty now, but wait till you see it completed. So there's what our Deco Fun bowl maker made so far. And these are wedding, I wanted to, okay, I just showed you there. Um, yeah, you want the back side facing you and the front side away from you for the tie. Now, here's the tie that's going to go around the pew. You want to cut these, make sure that they're facing you the proper way, cut them even. That's what I do here. So I'm cutting it off. You can tell how dark it is in the background. I forgot to turn the lights on in the craft room. I only had my aunt lights on. <laughs> so now you're going to put applique on each side to cover the snaps and the snaps will I made sure that there was a hole in the applique so that the snap could fit through and then I'm setting it there and using my silicone tools there so I'm not burning my fingers off there we are and uh, the snap is toward us there and you're going to put the other snap on the other side so that they will snap now remember that um, oh, I'm going to glue gun the applique snap to the inside once I know that it is exactly where I want it and see the little piece sticking out there that we're going to snap the other one to it's that easy and if you're doing these for a wedding make sure you measure around the pew and then you just do this and it snaps that way you're not tying it in a knot at the back it just looks clean and pretty so now that we have the uh, snaps on each side. I stuck a feather in between and so it matched the front because I put a feather going in the center of the tool and we'll show you that. Then I added one of the diamond blings to the front so when you snap it off there it is pretty and the feather is hiding the little snap so you can't see it. So I'm just glue gunning it down here with my glue. Isn't it funny we say glue gunning? You're gluing it down. And then this will snap and you don't see it on the other side. Let me just get it there. Boink! And there you have it. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? To have on the uh, other side. Now I'm going to add the diamond bling there so you don't see the snap on the other side. Just taking some of the um, material off right there that held those diamonds together on the roll. And there you have it, my friends. We have the fastener for around the pew, and it is complete. Yeah, I don't want to put, there we go. Easy peasy snap, you've got the diamond, put it back on, and it is secure. Just snap it on. You could use Velcro, um, you know, you could even use magnets if you wanted to. I just had the snaps there, and I thought that would be nice, and it works beautifully. You could see how hard it was to get it apart, so that's good. Now, I want to put little weed drops, those pearl drops, on the end of my quarter-inch satin from Deco Fun. So I cut those off. I'm trying to get a close-up, but my camera doesn't want to cooperate. There you go. And I just glued a little piece on each side to give it some weight to hold it to the front. And then we're going to... Uh, yeah, just cut the edges off so it's not hanging there on the corners, kind of make a V out of it. And there you have it. We have two little pearls on the end. Isn't that cute? 
I think any bride would love to have this. And here we go. We're going to let's see what we're doing next. Oh, I am going to add some of those, that round pearl applique from a wedding dress. Now, the reason why I added these is I thought, just to give you an idea of putting those gold rings you get at Michael's, they're like wedding rings, you get them, they're round, gold. I thought of putting one on the front of each one of these round uh, pearl appliques on the bow here. And uh, that way it looked like wedding rings and it just went with the theme. It added some gold and um, I think it would be very pretty. So if you have anything round, to put on there. I'm just using that silicone there so I don't burn my hands. Cut it off nicely so there's no edges. I'm going to put these two pieces of applique on there with my glue and um, secure that on there and then I thought uh, it would look nice to have the wedding rings one on each side on top of this round um, pearl applique. It's so pretty. I just can't stop looking at it actually. And then I'm going to put two of the diamond bling here after I glue it to hold it down. The pleats there. And I think two of the diamonds, just trying to get in there to see how nice and clean it goes on with the glue. Isn't that pretty? It's got the uh, sequins on there as well as the pearls. Then we'll pop two of the diamond bling on each side. And then I think it would look really nice to have those rings seated on there. You could sew it on. Um, it would just add to the uh, decor of the um, church. Now we're going to put both of those uh, diamond bling on each side. We're going to do the same on the other side of the bow that we made. And I want to encourage you to check out Deco Fun. I'm going to leave all the information in the description bar and on my blog. You can go over and I'll have it all written out on my blog, www.stampinribbons.blogspot.com. And uh, there you have it, my friends. Isn't that pretty? And then right in the middle up there, I put uh, a nice feather. And I want to cut these straight across because there's going to be applique going on the bottom as well. I haven't put the other round. Um, applique on as you can see there but we'll get to it and um, here I just set it down and I glue gunned it so that they curled up on the sides so I'll get a little piece of applique it doesn't matter what it is I just thought this would look pretty and the weight of the roses there will hold it down and as a matter of fact looking at it you could probably put the rings on the bottom as well hanging down from the uh, pew and uh, there you have it I think the cream and like the it's kind of like a, the roses are like a uh, ivory white and with the bright white I think looks very shabby chic and you just want to curl this up and press it down and do the same on the other side. And as you can see, these are two totally different appliques. It's hard to tell, but the bottoms are not the same. But yet, I think they look beautiful. There you have it, my friends. And this video was put out by myself for Deco Fun Bow Maker. And please check out my blog, www.stampinribbons.blogspot.com. I will leave all the information to Deco Fund's uh, blog and uh, you'll be able to get your coupons, you'll be able to get uh, all of the wonderful products over there and it is right from England and the ribbons are, as you can see, top notch. The bow maker is, speaks for itself, it's wonderful. I mean, you cannot beat the price to get these laces and ribbons and everything. And if you spend $24.99 US, you get free shipping, and that's for the large kit. So please check it out. I, I know you won't be disappointed. I put some glue running down here if you're wondering to close up the tool. That's what I'm doing there, and uh, I'm adding it right down so you can't see it. And I'm using my fine. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just adding a feather there so you won't be able to see the, the glue on the outside. There you go, and I'm just going to add some more underneath. And the feather looks so pretty. No one will ever know you had to glue the two together, which you don't have to. It just adds to it that it comes around in kind of like a circle. Isn't that pretty? And there you have it, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Check out uh, Deco Fun. I know you're going to love this bow maker. So enjoy the pictures, and I will see you on the next video.